Welcome to the Amersham Methodist Circuit YouTube channel and to this time of prayer and reflection for Tuesday the 16th of June. I am the Reverend Adam Wells, Superintendent of the Amersham Circuit of the Methodist Church. Let us pray. Almighty God, in Christ you have called us to follow. Through your church, you invite us to come and see. In the power of the Holy Spirit, you stay with us so that we are not alone. O God, our God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, we worship and adore you in Jesus' name. Amen. Psalm 54 Save me, O God, by your name. Vindicate me by your might. Hear my prayer, O God. Listen to the words of my mouth. Strangers are attacking me. Ruthless men seek my life. Men without regard for God. Surely God is my help. The Lord is the one who sustains me. Let evil recoil on those who slander me. In your faithfulness destroy them. I will sacrifice a free will offering to you. I will praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. For he has delivered me from all my troubles and my eyes have looked in triumph on my foes. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Gospel of John, chapter 1, beginning to read at the 35th verse. The next day John was there again with two of his disciples. When he saw Jesus passing by, he said, Look, the Lamb of God. When the two disciples heard him say this, they followed Jesus. Turning round, Jesus saw them following and asked, What do you want? They said, Rabbi, which means teacher. Where are you staying? Come, he replied, and you will see. So they went and saw where he was staying and spent that day with him. It was about the tenth hour. Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, was one of the two who heard what John had said and who had followed Jesus. The first thing Andrew did was to find his brother Simon and tell him, We have found the Messiah, that is, the Christ. And he brought him to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, You are Simon, son of John. You will be called Cephas, which, when translated, is Peter. The next day, Jesus decided to leave for Galilee. Finding Philip, he said to him, follow me. Philip, like Andrew and Peter, was from the town of Bethsaida. Philip found Nathanael and told him, we have found the one Moses wrote about in the law and about whom the prophets also wrote. Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. Nazareth? Can anything good come from there? Nathanael asked. Come and see, said Philip. When Jesus saw Nathanael approaching, he said of him, Here is a true Israelite in whom there is nothing false. How do you know me? Nathanael asked. Jesus answered, 
I saw you while you were still under the fig tree before Philip called you. Then Nathanael declared, Rabbi, you are the Son of God, you are the King of Israel. Jesus said, You believe because I told you I saw you under the fig tree. You shall see greater things than that. He then added, I tell you the truth, you shall see heaven open and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. As I read today's passage from St John, I am struck by two words that recur. Come and see. When John's two followers ask Jesus where he is staying, he replies, come and see. When Philip responds to his brother Nathaniel's scepticism, he says, come and see. Then at the end of the passage, Jesus touch it, touches on what they will see. I tell you the truth, you will see heaven open and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. Come and see is the most open-ended, non-threatening and welcoming invitation you could ever have. It has no strings attached. It has confidence that what will be seen will be of interest, that what will be experienced will say something to the person who is being invited. It carries no religious language or jargon, which newcomers may find difficult to understand. And yes, of course, come and see invites a response. Some will, someone will choose to come and see, or they will choose not to come and not see. When we put these videos up, we put them up in the public domain because the invitation is to come and see. When we first get back into church and things will be a little different, at least for a while, we might get asked by inquisitive friends, what is it like? The best answer in the world is, come and see. To come and see is to be with, to find out from the inside and be part of the whole. We have known for a long time that belonging, that sense of feeling a part of anything, very often comes before believing. The image that Jesus offers at the end of the passage, that lovely image of ascending and descending on the Son of Man. It's about a two-way relationship, God to the world and the world to God, brought about through Jesus. That wonderful reality has to be worth inviting others to come and see, whether that is online or in church. Amen. Let us pray. We pray for our world and for the church at this time. We pray for all who are working to create a vaccine. In the prayer handbook, we pray for the Methodist Church in Bangladesh, Pakistan and Sri Lanka. In the UK, we pray for the church in Ireland. While in the Northampton district, on the 16th day of the month, we pray for the district itself. For all those who hold office in our district. On Tuesday, in the Amersham circuit, we pray for Amersham St John's and also for Chesham. 
Today we pray especially for those in business, from small businesses to vast supermarkets. Especially praying for those whose businesses will be open as usual for the first time in nearly three months this week. We pray for all who are sick in body, mind or spirit. For those in the midst of famine or disaster. For victims of abuse and violence, intolerance and prejudice. For all who work in the medical and healing professions. We continue to pray for all those caught up in the riots in London at the weekend. We stand alongside those who demand justice. We pray for peace in the manner of that protesting, for non-violence in the expression of views. And now we take a time of quiet to make our own prayers during which we pray for each other and thank God that we are one in Christ. And we make all of our prayers in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And our final prayer. May the joy of following Jesus refresh each one of us. May the good news of being in him inspire each one of us. May the good news of the coming of the Holy Spirit be within us. So may the blessing of God, who is Father, Son and Holy Spirit, be with us today and forevermore. Amen.